Welcome to another edition of the Franklin Jewish Academy Athletic Department video blog. We've got a ton of information to go over today, so I'm going to be real quick and just get right into it. First, let's go over some highlights from the last week or so. We want to, we got a bit of hockey news today, so we want to congratulate our hockey team um, and, on making the district finals. That'll be coming up here soon. And then we want to announce that they are also playing in the uh, Little Caesars playoffs that starts this Saturday. It's a 7 and 30 start, so um, it will be done with Shabbat and all that good stuff. So if you can get out there, uh, get on over to Edgar, Eddie Edgar Ice Arena in Livonia. It's at 7 30 for the playoff game for our hockey team. We want to wish them best of luck uh, in that. Uh, last week was a really busy week. Um, we're going to actually go back to the following Thursday. Thursday the 22nd, where our girls' basketball team took on Austin Catholic downstairs in the JCC. They won their fifth game of the year, um, beating the Austin Catholic 39-5. to uh, Let's see here. The game was never in doubt, Coach said, and the Jags took control early. Maya Skolnick led all scores with 13 points. Good job, Maya, and good job, Lady Jags, on getting that fifth victory. We'll move on to Monday night, or yes, Monday night, for our homecoming game. Uh, great crowd at the JCC Monday night. A lot of enthusiasm uh, as the Jags took on Everest Academy, uh, one of our closer schools in our league. And we were excited for a good contest, and that's what we got as the varsity team pulled out a victory that night in the JCC. Great victory. Um, Dylan, Dylan Bresler led the, the team in scoring that night, but it was an overall complete team effort as we took the victory Monday night against Everest. Moving on to Tuesday night, our girls' basketball team was at home Tuesday taking on Crystal Ray. Another great victory for the Lady Jags as they beat Crystal Ray 42-28. to um, Coach's summary was that the girls' varsity continue to improve their record. They are now 6-3 uh, with a 42-25 win over Crystal Ray. Hard-fought victory for the girls. Ellie Guinness led all scores with 28 points. Great job, Ellie. And they, uh, once again, took that victory against Crystal Ray, 42-28. to JV basketball had a nice game at Cardinal Mooney uh, with a 10-point victory for the uh, JV boys basketball team. They moved their record to 4-5. Um, the scoring was spread out as almost 10 players scored for the JV team. So it was a nice team effort for the JV team in their 50-40 to, to 40 victory over Cardinal Mooney. The boys lost a tough one that night uh, in, in overtime to Cardinal Mooney, 57-52. Uh, a hard-fought game played by the uh, Jags that night, but they go down and defeat in overtime to Cardinal Mooney off after a long bus ride. It's a, one of our tougher trips uh, that we take each year, and the boys uh, played really well. We are really excited about our first bowling victory yesterday. Um, the, the Jags defeated uh, Waterford, Our Lady of Lakes, 22-8. to uh, The team bowled well, Coach said. Uh, and the high scores were Jake Berlin had a 172 and a 187. Jonah Grand bowled a 132 and a 154. Samuel Grand a 161 and a 146. And then Landon Marks bowled a high game of 166 for him. So it was a great effort for the guys and gals as they took on uh, Our Lady of Lakes and, and beat them in that um, tough league match yesterday. Now let's move on to the week to come so we can go over the schedule with that. Starting with February 2nd, yes, it is February already. We're continuing to fly through this winter season. Girls basketball on Monday night will be home. It's a 4.30 start against Sacred Heart. This is going to be a hard-fought battle. Um, we're looking forward to the girls playing well at home against Sacred Heart. A uh, return game from at their place where it was a close game up until a point. Um, when one of our key players was injured. So we're, we're getting everybody back. We're hoping that we'll be at full speed Monday night against Sacred Heart and we can pull out that victory. 4.30 Monday night, JCC right here against Sacred Heart. Tuesday, boys basketball will be on the road at Cabrini. It's a 6 o'clock for JV, a 7.30 start for the varsity team. Um, check with your coaches on the bus time on that on that for that day for Tuesday. Thursday, uh, we, we have a full schedule a triple header at um, Cristo Ray. Our boys JV will start the action at 4.30. The girls varsity will start the action, their action at 6. 
followed by the tip-off for the boys' varsity at 7.30. That's Thursday. So boys' JV, 4.30, girls' varsity, 6, boys' varsity, 7.30, down at Cristo Rey. Uh, bowling on Thursday is at Classics, Classic Lanes. Uh, I believe their contest is going to start at 3.30 on Thursday. So it's 3.30 Thursday bowling. And then, of course, um, uh, and, that, and that would be it for the, the week as we move forward. Um, practices that week, obviously, you're going to need to check with the coach on practice time, standard practice times that they're here in the JCC. Uh, moving forward, uh, there's some different times for your individual teams, especially for um, our JV boys team in, in terms of Sundays uh, using Hillel occasionally, and that's been sent out to the parents by the coaches. So if you have any questions, just touch base with them, or as always, give us a call. And we'll find out the answer if we don't already have it. Okay, that's it for this edition of the uh, Jaguar Sports Athletic Blog. Uh, it's been a long blog. It's almost six minutes as I see on the clock at the top of the screen. So we appreciate your time and following us. Uh, please spread the word that we're doing this so that we can get more people the information they need and we can get the, the good word out of, of the great things that are happening within our school and athletic department.